Hey, it's Josie with Affirmation Pod, where you get life-changing affirmations for the abundance you truly deserve. If it's your first time listening, welcome. If you've listened before, thank you for coming back. Thank you also to everyone for your very special messages after the 200th episode of Affirmation Pod last week. Also special thanks to those of you who contributed your rating or your review. You shared about Affirmation Pod in social media, as well as place an order with one of our sponsors. This episode today is when you're feeling raw and vulnerable. And it's been a request by those who have been through a breakup, a divorce, and starting to get out there, going through dating apps, meeting new people, and in so many ways, starting over. Others have requested this because they've gone through an injury, surgery, and they have to lean on others to get through daily living. Still others have requested this one because they're not working right now, they're unemployed, and they see that it's really affecting their self-esteem, their self-confidence, and their self-worth. But lastly, and I'll read this one out, this listener wrote in specifically requesting I don't use her name, but she wanted to say, Hi Josie, thank you so much for creating the In the Waiting Room episode for various reasons. I've gone through huge episodes, bouts, and waves of anxiety. And so for the first time in my life, I'm going to therapy. Your In the Waiting Room episode came in at the perfect time. I listen to it on repeat as I wait for my therapy appointment. And I want to thank the listeners who requested that episode because I think of them sometimes when I'm in the waiting room to remember that I'm not the only one who can feel nervous, uncomfortable, and overwhelmed when waiting for an appointment. Could I request an episode that I could play after my therapy appointment because afterwards I feel raw, exposed, and there's so much emotion going on. My therapist has given me some grounding techniques that I've been using, but I know listening to an episode on this would help me so much. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. So whatever it is you're experiencing where you're feeling raw and vulnerable, please keep this episode close. It's in the self-care category of the Affirmation Pod app. The app is free. You can get it on the Apple, Amazon, and Google Play app stores. The app is where you can make your own playlists. Download your favorites that you can listen to offline, like when you're in a waiting room. You can get it by going to affirmationpodapp.com. That's affirmationpodapp.com. And now here's affirmations and positive self-talk when you're feeling raw and vulnerable. So I've made a commitment to move forward in my life. And here I am in the messy middle. Definitely seeing and feeling my insides. Stuff that I've created and chosen stuff that I had no choice in and did not create. Opening myself up to healing, to transformation, to a new chapter. This is tough. I crave what's familiar but what's familiar may not be working for me any longer. So many things I didn't realize were in my head, were in my belief system, were a part of me until now. I wonder, did I really say that? Do I really think that? Do I really believe that? I'm witnessing my emotions come up. Raw, pure, unfettered emotions. I'm aware of so many emotions here. Part of me feels defensive and upset. Another part is embracing a new perspective and understanding. This season I'm in 
is bringing a lot of awareness. Things I didn't realize before, I didn't see before. These circumstances are really making me look inside myself. My inner processes, my reactions, the story I tell myself. I accept these feelings. I accept that they're my feelings, whether I like them or not. I also invite my brain to interact with these feelings. Knowing that if I'm feeling without thinking and reflecting, I'm going to get stuck in the pain. I'm uncomfortable feeling vulnerable. I'm learning. I'm exercising the muscles to get comfortable with feeling vulnerable. To manage the waves of emotion without getting lost in the emotions. I sit with all that's coming up for me. Even when that means I'm mad about being mad or sad about being sad. I can take care of myself in this pain, in this emotion. I am taking care of myself in these emotions. I will keep on taking care of myself in any emotion that comes up for me. I let positive self-talk wash over every lie that I've believed. I let positive self-talk clean house and clear out all negative self-talk. I can be raw and vulnerable and be strong and reflective. And as I keep doing the self-work I see more clearly, I am more hopeful, I am grateful I can take care of myself, I am grateful I am taking care of myself, I am grateful no matter how raw and vulnerable I feel. I will continue to take care of myself. That is my gift for you today. If you're looking for this episode without the intro, without the outro, that's also available in the Affirmation Pod app when you sign up for premium access. Premium access gives you all episodes of Affirmation Pod without ads and without announcements plus bonus episodes you won't hear on this podcast, along with bonus playlists. You'll find the ad and announcement-free version of this episode in the self-care premium category, and you can sign up for premium access by going to affirmationpodpremium.com. That's affirmationpodpremium.com. Now go be you, know you, and love you. This is Josie with Affirmation Pod. Bye for now.